bell tolled as the troops manned the ancient walls. These defenses, built during the reign of the Emperor Theodosius II, had preserved this last bastion of the Roman Empire for over a millennium. These walls had, over many centuries, withstood assaults by Huns, Goths, Persians, Avars, Bulgars, and Arabs. Only the Latin Crusaders had been able to take the city, but even they had done so only with treachery. The walls themselves had remained untouched, invulnerable, never breached in their thousand years. But these walls had also never before faced cannons. Sultan Mehmed, commander of the invading armies, knew this well. Below the walls, stretching for miles to the west, were the rows of tents and campfires of his Ottoman army. The Sultan had come for conquest, to take this red apple of the world at any cost. No multitude of his soldiers would be too high of a price to pay for his victory. But he also knew his cannons would be the key to his triumph. The key that would unlock these formidable walls and grant him the city of men's desire. The Sultan stood in front of his simple tent, beside a pole bearing a horse tail, the Turkish symbol for war. With a flick of his wrist, as if his multitude of soldiers, cavalry and cannons were but a string hanging from his finger, he ordered the attack. Emperor, the ravenous Turk Mehmed approaches with his devilish host. By the blessed virgin, we will defend Constantinople from these Turkish heathens. You have a few moments to move your troops into position, train units, research technologies, build defenses and gather resources before the Turkish assault. <laughs> My lord, the great Hagia Sophia has gone quiet since the Catholic ceremonies uniting our church with Rome. Nonetheless, you will find ways to inspire the people under that hallowed dome. Powerful, unique technologies can be researched at the Hagia Sophia. Your cousin Theopolis defends the south with the rest of our best troops. The rightful Turk Sultan has a following who will fight alongside us, even if they are cursed heathens. After all, if they were captured alive, the Turk Mehmed would visit horrors unto them worse than the depths of hell. The Mayor General of Galata places his rich trade before his Christian honor. We should send men to him. Convince him to join us, the Venetian and Genoese quarters of the city, overlooking the ports on the Golden Road. Notice the two Italian galleons. They are stronger than any we can produce. The Genoese captain, Giovanni Giustiniani, commands the center with a contingent of his countrymen.
espectáculo. Mal, mal. mal. Lege, vulome. I do not wish the Turk to ravage your city any more than I would have him plunder my own, but overt support will mean war between the Turk and Genoa. Something not in my power to authorize. I will help you, though, through subtle means, if you protect me from the Turkish Pasha Zaganos. Kill him, and I will assist you quietly, but strongly. The heathen comes! Show the Turk our Christian resolve! Sends his galleys against our sea walls. Man the towers and send the fire ships. We will send the Turk sailors to the bottom of the sea. This <laughs> will My men cannot fight the Turk directly, but if a few renegades decide to give you bread and coin, or even a few ships, I cannot stop the actions of free men.
culo, man. Grunts, let them go. We have much to rebuild before they gain the courage for their next assault. There is a natural rhythm to a siege. When the Turks pull back, we gather resources and repair the defenses before their next assault. We will hold vigil along the walls and in the churches. Strike against their flagships. The soldiers will fight with renewed resolve. Greetings, my lord. The Pope in Rome sends reinforcements to us. They must get through the sturdy Turk blockade. But may this be the vanguard of a great Crusader army. Έτοιμος. 
heathen comes again! Hold them off, men!
collect the dead and prepare for their next assault. Carries his ships overland into the Golden Horn. We must stop this portage, or we will lose our harbor. Again, 
Hold them off, men! Emperor, we have stopped the Turks' attempt to flank us. We will have no fear of their ships from this approach.
collect the dead and prepare for their next assault. My lord, I have an idea. As foolish as it is there. If we send men into the Turks' camp and even just glaze the Sultan, it will show the Turk and our men how determined we are. This, of course, will be certain death to the men you serve. Πρόσταγμα, ναι. Μάλιστα. Ναι. Βούλομαι. Βούλομαι. Βρυτόμο. Heathen comes again! 
Hold them off, men! The Turk sends his best janissaries against us. <laughs> we will show these once Christians the price of strength from the Lord.
collect the dead and prepare for their next assault. Russia has gone down with his cursed ship. Heathen comes again! 
Hold them off, men!
Collect the dead and prepare for the next assault.
the heathen comes again! Hold them off, men!
Christian men, do your duty and fight to the death for our Lord Christ and his blessed mother. Hold a bit longer, men! The third resolve is straining! I can feel it! Dirk Admiral has been sent to a watery grave. The Blessed Virgin Mother has seen to our prayers, and we have won a great victory. The heathen has been pushed from our lands, and Constantinople will remain a Christian city now and for always. In truth, the Ottoman armies overwhelmed the defenders of Constantinople. The walls that had been impregnable for centuries were battered by cannons. The hordes of Turkish soldiers climbed over the bodies of their own dead, but did not relent. Even still, a door was left open, and that was how they had entered the city. A handful of Greek and Italian soldiers bravely held the line, but were surrounded and decimated. As the dawn broke, Constantinople was reduced to flames and ash. The golden and jeweled adornments of the Hagia Sophia, the church that had stood in regal splendor for nine centuries, were ripped from the walls. Women and children crowded in the church. They prayed for the intervention of angels with fiery swords of justice who would smite the invaders, but were instead herded and chained. A few barred the doors of the smaller churches, frantically ringing the bells as a signal to any soldier left alive or any ship at sea that innocents were within, holding fast and praying for a salvation that would not come. The Turkish soldiers, greedy for plunder, battered and broke the walls. In a few hours, a thousand years of Constantinople, the last moments of the Roman Empire disappeared in flames and smoke as the final church bells tolled their last. <laughs>